Take two. Hi, I'm Guillermo, senior video producer for Chao Han. I'm assuming you guys have all seen those Japanese souffle pancakes, the super fluffy ones, the thick ones that people jiggle to the camera. Today I'm visiting Taiyaki, the place that started the craze here in New York City. And I don't have to do the three hour line to try them. So Tom, thank you for having me today at Taiyaki. When did you first learn about these pancakes and why did you want it to make it part of your menu here? When we were traveling in Japan, we noticed uh, there was like a huge line outside of, of one or two restaurants. It turns out to be these really fluffy pancakes, right? We didn't get a chance to try it because the line was super long. It was like two, three hours. And then uh, when we got back to the States, we saw it, you know, popping up here and there in, in, on Instagram. So we thought, you know, why not? do our own take to it. So we, we, after like four months, five months of testing, we actually got the recipe correct. You want something that's very fun, very aesthetic, right? You want something that's beautiful, attractive, but also, you know, it has to taste good, right? So we've been perfecting our processes, but we have to make sure that what we sell is exactly what it looks like online. What are the steps that we're gonna be doing? Okay, so typically we have a dry and a wet batter, right? And then we mix the two. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to crack some eggs. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to separate the whites into the mixing bowl and then the yolks uh, into a bowl. We want to make sure that there are absolutely no egg yolks. As soon as you have a little bit of egg yolk inside your meringue, it won't fluff, right? And if it does fluff, it will go flat really quick. Right. <laughs> I think when we first opened our shop, we had a uh, four hour line. And then uh, it was it was so bad that the fire department had to come, and oh, the, the police department had to come <laughs> because uh, our neighbors were were calling the cops on us. For the wet part, add a bit of milk. The next thing we add is your vanilla extract. Vanilla extract, and we use make sure to use uh, the pure vanilla extracts, so it has a better flavor. <laughs> Extra vanilla. That's that's a little much. <laughs> I'm gonna start mixing this. And then we're gonna add uh, a pancake mix. Okay, so usually we sift in our pancake mix. That's your mix. flowers? But we, we try to sift it because um, it's more homogenous. Mm -hmm. Mixes You're better. helping it. Yeah, so for, for us, we have a secret flour mix. Um, that we use our, for our pancakes, but for home cooks, you know, they can just use uh, store-bought pancake mix. Whatever their preferences, yeah. too, right? I mean, not to, I'm not asking you to reveal anything, but I know that now there's places that are, you know, using like almond flours, some types of nut uh, flours. If you look at macarons, uh, they use almond flour, so mm -hmm. it makes it really fluffy, it makes it rise, and they also use meringue, so. That's why I was gonna say, that makes total sense. It's, yes. it's close. It's very close, yes. All right, yes. I may do a little test with almond flour. <laughs> First, now that you know the egg whites and the egg yolks are separated, we're gonna start mixing the egg whites. All right, so we typically put this on a slower speed first. All right. And as the bubbles form, and as the meringue forms, we, we kick it up a, a notch, all right? Just so the, the mix the meringue is more even, mm -hmm. right? The bubbles are more even. So we add a little bit of uh, stabilizer. Mm -hmm. That helps basically the meringue fluff out better and stay fluffed better. It's like cream of tartar or anything like that? Yeah. So uh, as it's uh, getting bubbly, we start to kick it up a little bit. Right. Home cooks pretty much can use their regular pancake yep. recipe, whatever they usually do for their pancakes. And what they're adding is a meringue that they're making on yes. the side that you fold in. Exactly. And that's how you get to the souffle. Exactly, you can base, whatever, however way you make your pancakes at home, you just have to add in a bit of a meringue. It'll make your pancakes way fluffier. It'll make them delicious. All lies within the meringue. So it's getting a little foamy, right? Pretty homogenous right now. So we start to add in uh, a bit of sugar. Now we just go white sugar. Yes. Oh, we use granulated sugar. You can uh, probably use others, but this is what people usually have at home. Confectionery can work too, uh, but we prefer granulated sugar. So once we add a little bit of sugar, it starts to bond with the egg whites, it gets a little fluffy. Mm -hmm. That's already starting to look like, yeah. yeah. So we're, we're aiming for a hard peak. Um, we want the 
the meringue to be very stiff, right? So mm -hmm. it can't hold while it's cooking. We add a little bit more to the end. It's getting quite fluffy. So we're gonna stop it here, take a look. Just wanna make sure the meringue is where it's supposed very to. Very stiff, right? Don't wanna over whip it. And there's a little trick, right? If you over whip it, it gets grainy. So, mm -hmm. so the trick is add a little bit of egg white, mix it by hand or with a spatula and it'll fluff it a little bit back up, yeah. So what we do is usually we, we mix, we incorporate one third of the batter really, really quickly because you want to mix in uh, the wet, the wet part, mm -hmm. mix it in pretty well. You don't want like lumps of egg whites here and there. Then we add the rest of the meringue. Goes in like so. So when it, when we put in the second and third parts of the meringue, uh, you want to fold it instead of mixing it because you don't want to knock all the air out of the meringue. If you knock all the air out, then, you know. You kill them. <laughs> it will go flat while you're cooking it. Okay, so once it's pretty much incorporated, then we bring it to the griddle. Once the batter's done, right, it's, mm -hmm. it has to be used immediately. Time is, time is of the essence. Right. We actually use some parchment paper mm -hmm. that we've hand cut and we, we make them as like rings. We add a little bit of water. Mm, I see. And we cover it. So there's a little bit of seaming action that happens yes, there too. Like exactly. with a souffle in an oven. Yes, exactly. That makes sense. Jiggle them. <laughs> that's that's the main thing, right? That's yes. what we're here for. That's that's what you're here for. So we'll go tr the traditional method, right? Just yeah. pour some syrup and. Yeah. So a lot of people like the syrup shot, especially in slow mo. First time. Sure. Been looking at the these guys on Instagram yeah, and everywhere honest, else, but this is the first time I'm actually gonna try them. Mm. Now I know what this is such a big viral hit. Because <laughs> it really is, it touches on everything that's nostalgic about the pancakes that you had when you were a kid, but mm -hmm. it's elevated in a I mean cuteness, overload texture. It's pretty great. Thank you so much for making no. two batches of beautiful fluffy pancakes and you know I am not uh, taking for granted the fact that I got my VIP set here in the back of the right. kitchen and I actually get to try this without having to do a long line. No, we won't tell anybody. <laughs> I mean you won't tell anybody right? <laughs>